Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the UFG Champions Apex Legends Arena $10,000 Invitational. I'm Taylor Reflections, double joined by Fallout and Blaze. Hey, it's going to be a good series. We got Johnsonville going against Na'Vi. This is one I know everybody's been hyped up to see. It's going to be loser's bracket, so means, obviously, one team is going home early. One team is moving forward to playoff bracket. This will be the conclusion of Pool A, Pool B. Speaking of which... Follow, let's take a look at Pool A and see it. how everything has been unfolding. We've seen a lot of great series as far as today goes. And obviously, we've already seen one team qualify. Esports Arena, no surprise there. You get a 3-0, you get a 3-0, and you get a 3-0 every single game so far. New Esports, though, obviously a tough run against Esports Arena, but they go and deliver yep. the business to Oxygen. It's good to see New Esports still alive. Now, we'll have a battle of EU. I'm guessing they'll play on EU servers now, so it'll be a fun match and qualification mm -hmm. there. It'd be kind of weird. Both EU teams play on uh, NA. I'd be kind of mm -hmm. uh, blown away from that. But you know what? Teams are weird sometimes. New Esports, Mutarium, they'll be facing off at the same time. We'll be watching our uh, main match. Uh, Blaze, we got Group B, though. One that we are about to hop into with Johnsonville Navi. Earlier, though, Torrent oh, did play against wow. Navi and got the victory 3-0. We don't get 3-0s across the board like before. We did at least get a 3-1 between Johnsonville and Navi. Yeah, and so we're getting a rematch, all right? Navi took him down three to one um, at the top of the winner's bracket. Johnsonville makes quick work of Noble, but can they get revenge? This is going to be a great one. We didn't get a chance to watch the first match, but we do know one thing that both these squads, they're about to give it everything in which they got. Yeah, everything they got, man. They have to. Again, loser goes home, winner. I'm sure they're already home unless they're playing somebody else. But at least winner will get the move forward tomorrow, potentially to play for the money. They still have to win one in round one. But regardless of to be that much closer. So big round it is. And like you said it best, this is a rematch. So lessons learned. And Fallout, I know you didn't cast the last event. I don't think you casted the last event, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, last event, we did see a rematch where one team did win 3-1 or 3-0. And that rematch did not go uh, like it did the first time. You That's know, that interesting. Was able to take it. Yeah, about arenas, right? And arenas, that is, there's all adjustments. It's all strategies. The opportunity to outsmart your team to go back to the drawing board and say, hey, remember, I'm Party Crashers. They liked to play early waterfall, early pill, so here's what we're going to do in, instead. Sure. You can change your legend comp. That's what's wonderful about this tournament. I, I like this format, too. The fact that we get group stages into like a mini playoff, or sorry, group stages into like a, a double in bracket, into a single in bracket tomorrow. I really like the, love this entire format. It's great. Yeah, I think format's great, and uh, adjustments need to be made. They really do. I, I just like the aggression. It's it's a lot different from what I'm used to seeing. That Mozambique yeah. has truly changed up the meta quite a bit. Blaze, let's take a look at the maps, because I want to see if we do get a new addition. Ooh. And uh, Habitat 4, actually map number 5, if we get that far. But I got to say, I'm hoping we do. Yeah, you know, if we get a game 5 today, that will be absolutely awesome. But Thermal Station, Thermal Station Party Crashers, Overflow, and Phase Runner will be our first maps to kick I, this one off. Blaze, and, I gotta yes. point some out. Sorry to interrupt, brother. We got the first three same maps as last time when Navi handled a 3-0 dish to these guys. So they basically ran the same maps. They're gonna be all adjustments. That's a great point. There's this thermal station overflow our flip, exactly. but it is the same maps in which they had success on. So that was our first round in which both those squads played. And we'll see if they can have that same success early on in this series going up against Johnsonville. They're going to have to. Again, loser goes home. Now, I do got to ask <laughs> <laughs> Can I do something? No, no it's, it's just Fallout. It's fall. You no, didn't do nothing. No, but fall out. you know I'm laughing, right? You know I'm laughing. Could I say Johnsonville? You said Johnsonville. I'm on broadcast, and he said it with like, the most serious face of all time. Literally, like pro sports mode ESPN broadcaster in this great series going up against Johnsonville. <laughs> well, yo, we got all these Johnsons That's who the hell about they to are. go up against Navi, all right? Hey, I and mean, we'll it. see if they're going to be popping off today or not. Oh, yeah. But hey, we're here. Someone, someone clip Paula, this you weren't ready for this? Info, bro. He's literally killing me on stream right now. It's, it's Johnsonville. I mean, they're going to be a big team. I don't know, man. They're going to be incredible. Oh, they did uh, change their name last minute? They were Team what design, are they now? And they went to they went to Johnsonville. They changed their name to Johnsonville last minute. I like it though. I, I like I it. I'm here really for it. Okay, it's it, the greatest it's, name it's, that we've it, ever it's, seen. It's, <laughs> it's a big name that has big expectations, Don't stop and I really going hope Johnsonville stop delivers going. where they need to. Stop now, Blaze, you've been happy for it. <laughs> Come on, hey guys. It's Johnsonville oh, versus really? Navi. All right, let's keep it ESP. Yeah. <laughs> we we, we right. will We're keep back. it ESP. Don't back. worry. Taylor, when you ready right, to hand so, this off to us, just give it to us, okay? I'll yeah. I'll get John in Don't check, all right? Give it to and Just who are you going for? Who's winning this series, please? <laughs> so for me, I'll kick it off, okay? I think that 
Arena Demons is going to come out here and get revenge. Sorry, not Arena Demons, but Johnsonville is going to come out here and get revenge. It was a logo. It was a logo for me. I always, they don't got, they don't get, hey, you know, they don't got logos out here. Yo. Johnsonville is going to come out and do it. Johnsonville's got, yeah, Johnsonville's too, too big, too strong, too fast, too hard. They're just, they can't be beat, honestly. You know, honestly, you, they, they're, they're, they're going to be some stiff competition. We got to be honest about that, Jesus okay? Christ. You know, because <laughs> Navi, granted, <laughs> they were able to fold them in the first Christ. series, but I don't know if they're going to fold them oh. this time. Yeah, yeah, you're oh, right. No. You're right. I, 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 all, just... all, all things, all jokes aside here, we're going to do our best to, you know, maintain ourselves professionally. Johnsonville's a good team. They are. We got Designful. We have a team that's going to come back, and the same three maps adjustments will be made. I think they're taking it. Yeah, that's the Apex uh, uh, logo, but that's fine. Uh, not not Arena Demons. They'll play later. Mm -hmm. For chat, who are you going for? Um, we going with, okay, so we're all going Johnson with Johnsonville. Ball. Fair enough. Um, they don't care that Navi won before. 3-1, uh, they just they want to back up Designful, and they want to back up their team. It is going to be a great matchup. Speaking of which, we talked a lot about Johnsonville. Let's at least give some respect to Navi. Yeah. Uh, Fallout playing with Hron. You know, that's going to be a, a good player. You know, I learned how to say that before. That was impressive. You really got to get in the back of your throat. Hron, you yeah. know, so it's, uh, it's, it's that was freaking a good place. Like he was about to cough up a loogie. Hron. <laughs> I think I am. After that uh, bit of a pre-show. Uh, rugby and then Sonya. Yeah. You know, what What can we expect from Navi? I mean, these guys have been incredible over time. Navi's been pretty much a staple as an organization anyways throughout all of our Apex uh, Legends Arena Invitationals. So, uh, Navi. You think they're going to be successful in this series, despite Johnsonville being the heavy favorite? Absolutely. I mean, they they, they three won them last time around, and this rugby, uh, this, sorry, this Navi squad with rugby, Sonya and Kron, former CHMK squad who has won championships and ALGS online tournaments in the past. They are a remarkable team, that's for sure. Blaze, I want to hear your best pronunciation of uh, of that tag, though. Oh, what? Oh, Kron? Eh, you know, on a little something throat. I'm not, I'm not going to give it to Kron. Yeah, that's better. Go. That's good. <laughs> Even roll my art. Listen, boys, okay? real quick, real quick. Listen, boys. I can help you guys with this pronunciation. All right, here we go. Because uh, Rosetta Stone Greek, will fall out. Greek and Russian are both uh, Cyrillic languages of the Cyrillic alphabet and East okay. Orthodox. A lot of East Orthodox languages. Oh, they shit, have similar I didn't do that. sounds. And it's it's um it's yeah. So we have Kai or He. He is the He. So I'm gonna repeat after me. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Taylor, starting with you. Ego. 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 A, a go? A Blaze isn't going to be any better. A Blaze. Go. I, no, I can, I, no, I'm good. I'm like a, um, I Blaze, you a, do it. No, I'm a copycat. A, I can do a this. Go. Come on, John. A go. A go. A go. A go. A go. Ble. Ble. Say it again. Ble. Ble. Potiri. 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 You just said, you just said, I have a blue cup. I have a blue cup. Yep. A go. A go. A go. A go. A go. A go. Blue. Potiri, cup. Potiri. And if you could well, say, if, and this is Rosetta Stone, this is languages with Fallout. If you could say. Well, I'm going to need another lesson. Ego or echo, you can say Hran. Hran. Echo, Hran. Re Hran's going to tear it up. Hran. All right, Johnsonville, Navi, boys, take reflections, it away. Reflections. Oh, wait, yeah. this way. Reflections wins. Congratulations. I'll raise your arm up. Let's go, he wins. What do, what do I get? You get respect and love for me. That's what you get. That's you know what? Hey, hey, no, get him out of here, okay? Because, John, check this out. <laughs> I was about to give you some love, uh, all right? Because uh, after no. watching that last series, I ain't even gonna lie, I felt bad for Gaskin a little bit because I've always wanted to cast with Onset, but yep. I think I would much rather have fun casting with Gaskin because Onset will be on my ass all series about how to pronounce <laughs> things, okay? <laughs> Everything that we talk about, he'll be like, well, Blaze, what you say, Blaze? Say it again. And I swear, I will have to polish his hair one good time if me and him cast it. So I was going to say, I appreciate you, John, but not no more. All right, we're heading into map number one. This is John Seville versus Navi. It is, baby. Let's get it. Let's jump right into gameplay here. Jump over Asanya with the PK to kick things off here in round number one. Look at this. Designful running with his tail between his legs. Has to back out. Uses the defensive bubble shield. And rugby, though, gets melted right after. Now, ooh, when the knock is there, it's all up to Designful. He's in a 1v2. Ooh. He'll get roundhouse kick right to the jaw. Couldn't get the extra damage in which he needed. And that's going to be Kron out here. Able to get that last kill. Kron. 1-0 up Navi. Kron. Kron. Yeah, that's better. That's okay. I'm going to start calling him Ek. X, X, X Ron, okay? Go, My man go back X, to X, X, Ron out here all <laughs> mat putting in work. You can go back to X, Ron. Yeah, there you go. That definitely works. And Navi says, you American boys, you better put some respect in my name, all right? They started up one to zero, strong and hot against the Johnsonville boys. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. 
So good start for them. We'll see if they can equate that same damage. We'll be having a Gibby Bangal uh, Bangalore and Pathfinder for this team comp. And I was hoping to see the Bangalore on this map. So we will get a chance to. We'll see how those smokes will play into it. Navi's going to be running a, sim a similar team comp. So no ashes, no octanes on this map. Peacekeeper and a Mozam in the back pocket of Sonya. Wingman here for Slurpee. Trying to get some good shots. The bubble comes out early. He has his teammates there to the right. He's just trying to protect them. Make sure that his opponents don't get no free angles here with his height advantage. Yeah. We're signing out. Rotating wide right. We got a bit of a standoff here in round number two. And they're just going to be collecting resources. Playing for long game here. Oh, the oh. nice PK precision he hit choke. Some crack right there from Sonya. Hits for a nice 81. Yeah, right through the crafting metals. He was not expecting that one. Nice little spot under the bridge but as you see it is navi repositioning they're at full health johnsonville will be as well by popping a syringe it's an even battle yeah. we're gonna hit reset here the question is who's user abilities obviously uh, the big thing in arenas resource management comes into effect here most players at this point have already kind of used their tacticals and look at this wide left flank from rugby and sonya from navi gonna be pushing up trying to get angles designful gonna get cracked this is an opportunity doors opened here for navi Who's going to be able to put out 500 damage quicker? Right now is Johnsonville, who is hitting some good shots. Forcing Karan to have to hit that battery. Navi's going to have to hit one as well. But this is where Johnsonville understands that, hey, everybody's backing up. They're scared. They're healing. They're out the fight. Get positioning. Try to get some shots. Get some nays down. Let's find the angles in which we need to win this round. Care package comes down. It's going to be a triple take and peacekeeper. But Gilderson says, you know what? I'm completely Indeed. okay with my vote. I'll get it done. Prowler picked up as well, and look at this. Rugby going to be tagged up, loses all of his shield, half of his health. Luckily, you're going to have a shield bat to reset because they did get some of the pills earlier. They got some of the health, the heals from them, so they'll be able to reset again. When was the last time, Blaze, you saw Design Ooh. will pay this much respect to his opponents here? Look how cautious this point. Yeah, he's giving them a lot of respect. Understand the pressure in the situation. Some great shots coming out here from Kron. He's got to move forward. The zone is knocking multiple Easy. players, and Navi, they'll get the round and go up two to zero it's looking like johnsonville they cannot keep up they can't that's a fact navi outplaying outclassing right now and again and i don't know what it is from this johnsonville squad just playing a little bit passive a little pensive a little cautious i want to see them turn up get a little more aggressive get out maybe out strat outplay them put pull pull a trick out of the bag here in round three is what i'm hoping for you're down 2-0 you got nothing to lose We'll see if Johnsonville got the stamina for this series. So far, they are one round away from being down 1-0 in this map, in this in this series. Zanya is going to be focusing maintenance room to get stuck on the box. And you see on the flip side, Johnsonville is going to go thermal side, making sure they can get some meds. Going to use the, that pill wisely. It's Gilderson and Slurpee trying to get the focus there on Kron in the back. Yep. You gotta be careful of rugby though. That's right, Slipper G playing wide, wide right here. Going for a long flank, Sonya and Co. Nearby, Peacekeeper in the hands of Sonya. Here comes the shot, misses that first shot, which means opportunity right now for Johnsonville for at least a split second as Sonya was climbing that building to try and take advantage. But it looks, it looks like they're just getting a little bit outclassed. They're kind of getting stuck like rats in a sewer right now. That's what it looks like from the Johnsonville boys. Designful gonna lose all the shield. Yeah, Johnsonville is playing really passive here, especially over these last two rounds. I, I want to see them fight for that maintenance building in, in the middle and get together in some close range battles. So you'll have Designful really be able to, you know, get into these fights with a squad. Use that, put that bubble to good use. We got it really spread out. Nice thing slow down here. I want to take a moment. Say what's up to the one and only Verholst in the chat. Putting some respect on Navi's name. So sure. when I was on ESA and we played Navi, they were cracked, and I gotta agree with that. And this Navi squad, this whole CIS region, so talented. I was uh, DMing with Hardecki earlier. It was a great English conversation. Shot to my pen. Hardecki, and he uh, he was like, you know, I like to play arenas. My teammates don't like arenas, but imagine Hardecki in an arenas tournament. I would lose a lot. Man, he would have missed a single wing. Man, facts. Okay. Absolute facts. Absolute. Straight damage coming out, just like now. As we're watching Gilderson, he hits his teammate with a few of those shots. They were trying to get Zanya off that high ground. Now, Zanya is gonna rotate around. Here comes a jump from Slurpee. Get some good shots there on Zanya. 
knows that he's trapped behind a the cover. They're going to drop to the low ground. Navi feels, Johnsonville feels like they're in a great position, but they're trying to get themselves on the same page. Yeah, this is an opportunity now. Navi going to be in a really bad spot here. This should be an easy Johnsonville round. A good job. Well played. Out shot, kind of rotated. Great wingman shot. He didn't go through. down. But did that get the knock? Yeah, we get slippage. He goes down, but they're all damaged. This should be more than enough. Gilderson and Designful. Gilderson, such a talented individual player. Oh. But no, it's a 1v1 here. Rugby so damaged. Oh, Rugby right. also playing Gibby. Has to run for his life. Should get tagged. And Yo. does he get knocked though? Rugby some way somehow Imagine. survives, but not going to happen. Shut things down is, is uh, the entire Johnsonville squad. They can finally get a point on the board. Boy, rugby turns that fight around to to win now for the squad. That it that's on the same level of that of that duplex play on Party Crashers. That yeah, right, two v one that he had to win the map. Oh my god, that was nasty. That was Those that are just tuning in for the first time as we take a look at the replay here. I'm gonna quick, give a quick heads up. These wingman shots from Slurpee G connecting well. But as we're taking a look at this replay, I want to explain we are in group stages. So the way it works, this is a qualifying match. The winner of this match, this is loser's bracket of the group stage. Each group has its own double elimination tournament, and two teams from each group of the four advance. He had 13 bullets. Yeah, it was the same, both 30 bullets. So winner of this match, this is both, both of these teams have lost already. Winner of this match qualifies to tomorrow, where we will have a single elimination, eight team bracket for the win. Here we go, it's round number four. Will Navi win it now, or will Johnson Field get it tied up? Zanya takes a good amount of damage, has to back down. Designful is going to start playing for the bins in a cover. We'll see if he can get it safely with the arm shield and be able to back down. Zanya is watching it. Here, package coming down dead center. I don't know if anyone even played for the peels towards the maintenance side of the map. It could be some good heals there. And I, and I think we're going to start to see Slurpy G go over there and start acquiring those meds for his team. Yep. A great call from him. Gonna drop him in the corner, let him know that hey, I got some extra batteries. We can out out damage these guys. Looks like they'll both contact with enemies. split uphill here, so it'll be pretty even in terms of loot. This is gonna be a slow played round. Zone's obviously gonna start closing here momentarily, which will force the fight. But outside of that, we're gonna get a good old fashioned east west standoff here in this one, which we've seen happen so many times on this map. Kind of a common occurrence is two teams are playing very, very different in this game. This is a much different game than the mm -hmm. game we saw earlier, Blaze. And it's one thing is that I'm noticing here in these fights is the squads who are getting the most Saturday heals because typically in BR, you know, sometimes these engagements happen so quick when you have to engage. You know, you, you take about 50 damage, you pop a battery right off right off the bat so you can, you know, get back into the fight. But if you're playing tit for tat, if you want to challenge and take at least 50 more to get the full heal, the full usage of that battery, I think it'll go a long way in arenas, especially on slow rounds just like this one. And we can see Johnsonville making great usage of those meds, but that's going to be a knock on Zanya. Can they capitalize? Ooh, a peacekeeper straight to the chest. Tron trying to get the knock, but he can't make it happen. It's tied up two to two. There we go. Johnsonville bringing it back. Tied it to a piece. Keep in mind, you got to win by two or win at at least 5-4. Is We'll get to sudden death eventually. The show will not continue forever. So, two straight rounds for Johnsonville. They got to win two straight more if they want to close this out here at Overlook, map number one. All right. Johnsonville is starting to catch their flow, John. Um, I'm mm -hmm. seeing a lot of their success, especially over these last two rounds, is number one, they're playing their opponent a little bit closer. Um, number two, they're having better usage with their meds. Now, for Navi, I was going to say, I want to see if they're going to make a play here towards this maintenance side of the map to get those extra meds. We see off the rip, Johnsonville saying, you know what? Let's make an early play for them. Ooh, Bangalore Oak goes deep to the opposite side. That is going to extend, forcing Johnsonville to have to use this bubble or reposition and give up this mid room. They choose to give up the room. Gilderson crapped in the corner. Slurpy G hitting some beautiful shots. Can they get the knock? It's going to be a rotation here from Kron. He's going to hop in. Ooh. He's chased down. Can't go anywhere. And that's going to be Johnsonville. Able to win three rounds in a row. One more from taking map one. Three straight dubs picked up. And this is exactly the adjustment we wanted to see make. I mean, Johnsonville, controller boys, right? You want to see them play aggressive in the face of their opponents. And you're going to win those gunfights, right? I think all members of Navi, mm. I believe, are on keyboard and mouse. Most folks in the CIS region are. You want to take those close range fights and it's definitely mm -hmm. working out well for them. So we're seeing a lot of votes being used um, in this matchup because the Bangalores are out. 
and when you level up those volts you will get that thermal so we saw it be put to good use there by gilderson here we go sanya oh i gotta mess up the, the grapple couldn't get where he wanted to but an early nade will come out so that navi can still get positioning and they will be able to move up and get the positioning they want but little do they know it's going to be uh johnsonville who will go out wide towards thermal side they'll pick up those meds and get to mid map control and they're also controlling this fight as well john yeah this is navi playing as well i love this decision slow things down don't go exactly where the johnson boy johnsonville boys are going that's a wise way to play that's what worked well for you in the first two rounds you're able to take but it all yeah it's not to this map point right now boys yeah so this time around navi's just flipping the map they say okay we see what you guys are doing johnsonville playing for those meds off on the corner uh and it's a more favorable fight but johnsonville's okay they just want to make sure that they can get the extra meds for the long game and now they're getting uh the care package weapons it was an alternator that gilderson will be able to have throw a few bangalore smokes go to town and i think that will be the game plan he doesn't have any more smokes to use in the late game but he gets a wide angle with the alternator able to get a crack that's going to be a crack on Zanya. Popping a battery right now is the Pathfinder on the other side of the wall. He has a great angle. He's just hoping that Design Force Furpy G can get towards that thermal side and get some more damage on his opponents. Beaming with that alternator. Alternator Volt. Not sure if he wanted to keep the Volt, obviously, because it's a bit more of a long range poke battle, or decided accidentally just missed the Ava 8. But nonetheless, oh my gosh, look at these beams with this alternator not missing right now is Gilder's free fire left. That's why you keep that bolt in your hands. And there you have it. Johnsonville, four straight rounds. They are frying. And they win map number one after going down 2-0 and looking like Navi was going to take complete control. It really did. Like, me and you, we're about to change up our whole I conversation know, right? of yeah. this series. Saying, you know what? Navi has came wrong. to play today. And Verholz, he was on to something, all right? These boys are out to win it. But Johnsonville, you know, they had a great leader in Designful, and they were able to come up with a game plan on those final four rounds after getting the intel in the first two to really pick Navi apart. That's right. The adjustment was it, made mostly in their ability to play aggressive and in the face of their opponent. Mm. That last round slowed down, and they did a good job maintaining control of supply crate, and that's why they went to that opposite side of the map, and that's ultimately why Navi decided to avoid that because they wanted to avoid the fight. But in the end, it was Johnsonville still able to use the supply crate loot to their advantage. All of, obviously, Alternator helping to initiate coming out on top here as we take a look at the replay here as well. Yeah, so Navi, I know they're scratching their heads like, man, how do we let this one slip by one round away from victory? And it could have been one right there too as well. This was the round. It was like it was 2-1 Navi. 15 bullets left in a vault he's able to get that final kill but it got scary and from this moment on this replay is going to be a montage of johnsonville of, on how they just completely um fried up fried navi all right that's right i love the usage of the bangalore smokes and the, and the digis as well they had a great game plan but we got to move on over towards party crashers and we'll see if the bangalores get used once again john you know blaze you're just ahead of your time you're very wise. When you called Bangalore our first cast, we didn't see Bangalore, but you just knew eventually it'd come, and it did. Both teams run Bangalore here on map number one. Is uh, by the way, that was overflow, not thermal station. So I believe those are two flipped. We will, I think we'll have party crasher coming up next, regardless. But mm -hmm. in case that is different, we'll keep you all updated. Sorry for the table there, y'all. Yeah, nah, it is. So party crashers. One thing is that we're seeing from everybody consistently. We're seeing the Pathfinder. We're seeing the Gibby. Now, this is where some teams are going to excel past others. That third character, that flex player. Who are you going to be able to bring out on each one of these maps to, to have the best possible team comp? Now, we saw Uriz absolutely dominate the waterfall in his gameplay, getting those extra mass, taking that wide angle, and really locking down the sight lines on top of the ship on that roof that you can get coming out. Maybe that's where the Ash Snare will could come into play. You know, you get an early Ash Snare, you know where he's going to be. Maybe some focus fire on that side of the map. Get that early down, take positioning. We'll see, but I think we can get creative with the with the third picks for these team comps. Yeah, that's a great point. Especially in this map, the way it's designed, right? There's a lot of open space, but then there's a lot of pillars and rocks and specific tiny pieces of cover you can hide behind. Mm -hmm. And Ash Snare will basically force you out of that tiny piece of cover into the open, and you can get melted. So I wonder if we will see a shakeup based on map, but something tells me these teams are going to stick to their guns. I'm sure Navi's still confident in how they played 
So I think we'll still see the Bangalore, the Pathfinder, and the Gibraltar. But hey, I might be wrong here. They're uh, in Legend Select right now. We'll see mm-hmm. what the team comps are looking like here in a second. You know, when it comes down to all of our legends, um, I think that hmm, the one legend we'll never see in arenas has to be Crypto. <laughs> yeah, yeah good one legend we'll never see is Crypto. Hide I was thinking, show. like, you know, who could we get as like a a nice little sneak peek pick here? You know. A player who, a character, a legend who has a great Q um, that can be utilized on this map. And, you know, who knows? Maybe Rampart and her maybe extra cover. Horizon. Maybe a little Horizon. Maybe Rampart. Well, horizon Q on the right map, okay? The right map. Um, yeah. Maybe Horizon on Thermal Station for some high ground if you can go that high. Mm. You never know. But we do know we will see the same team comps that we saw in map number one the Bangalore, the Pathfinder, the Gibraltar. It's even Stevens. Navi versus Johnsonville, map number two. Let's see if Navi can get this all tied up one on one. Let's get it. Map two of the UMG Apex Legends $10,000 Invitational. By the way, a big shout out to UMG, one of the best in the business in all of esports from a production term and organization standpoint. Every event is so smooth. Oh, Ever since they entered the Apex team, man, these events have been awesome. I know the pro players really, really appreciate UMG. So thank you so much, UMG, for putting these together, for organizing these. And thank you, of course, for EA and uh, for partnering and supporting. It's the reason why they call them back. All right. You want the best in the biz. And it's the reason why the players keep coming back. They know the experience in which they have. Broadcast is one level. The tournament is another. Yep. Down Gilderson. He's trying to get some good shots with the vault from up top. Some early smokes on the right side of that building. But an engagement from Rugby Whoop. climbs up building. Reposition from Slurpee. He's going to move all the way back, trying to see the sight lines on top. There's some close oh range God. engagements that Sanya cannot take. Rugby goes down as well. And it's all going to be up to Kron. It was Navi who initiated, but now Navi down in a 1v2. Solid wingman shots, but couldn't get behind the cover in time. Even though it was his opponents, he tried to get creative in that fight. And I gotta say, I, I like the aggression from Navi, but I, even more, I love the teamwork and coordination from Johnsonville. Heads up play from Path to just zip on out of there, recognizing, hey, we're not gonna fight this. We're not in a position to fight this. Was able to, to basically pull aggro while his teammates were able to flank and get some free picks. Well played right there, and all three members on the same page as we take a look at the replay to walk you through it. This and you know, also, I wanna say, like, at, at this level, as soon as you see a Gibby bubble drop, it's like a Mr. Crab situation. Like, you know what's about to start popping off. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. They're about to do something in some way. So um, I think Johnson Field did a great job just uh, adjusting and understanding that, hey, we're under siege. Let's not give them the fight in which they want. And they're going to do it again. Both squads flipping this other side of the map. They're going to go towards Mall side. Slurpee was not able to stop his opponent from being able to pick up those meds. And it was pretty much a, it was a heist there by Johnsonville, which was successful. But will they get away as they are getting pursued by Navi? You're going to have Kron turn around, fire back with some suppression. It'll back up designful. And it's going to slow this map down. I like that strat right there from Navi, Blaze. Sonya out moves, gets there faster as Pathfinder. Bangalore throws a smoke, so Sonya survives literally with two HP. And then and Navi is able to basically hold head glitches and survive while Johnsonville was trying to take advantage and push off that damage on Sonya. And they basically thwarted the push. Now we're hit reset and they, they got some good. loot. Good situation here. And I want to say I, I did not caught it out wrong, okay? It was Navi who completed the heist, getting those meds and getting out. Yep. Yeah. So it was Navi who completed a successful heist in Johnsonville. Playing from behind a bit. Each one of these squads is about at 500 health. Target spotted. Not anymore. I like this discussion, by the way. The chat starting to discuss who they think they will never see in arenas or who they'd like to see. I see Fuse Q is nasty. Mirage Fuse TBH. Q will be good. Mirage is trash. So two different opinions there. We'd love to hear your <laughs> thoughts, y'all, on which champion or which <laughs> legends you'd like to see, which we think we'll never see. <clears throat> Mirage can really juke out some players in 1v1 situations. Let's be honest, okay? If you know how to really get down with Mirage, I, I think you can juke some people out. It's just that nobody wants to be that guy to do it first. Also, yeah, too, a Mirage O in a late game? Come on. <laughs> That's absolute chaos. Yep. I do, uh, I will say, I think Mirage is one of those unique characters designed in really any hero shooter. He's going to be great in control. Yeah, that'll be interesting. 
you know it just comes down to different game modes crypto is going to be great in control also but crypto is a high level character it's kind of just like watson you know you really gotta be ready for the late game be thinking ahead of the time yep. now when it comes down to both these squads, I think Johnsonville understands that, hey, we're going to have to press up a bit. If you look at the mini map, that's a great spot. They will be able to get that cover in the middle to have that high ground. So it'll, that was good for them to be able to take that statue. But now Gilderson is the focus for everyone. Zionful is pretty far behind as well. I don't think he'll be able to get a good Gibby bubble. He should be able to right in the middle to create some space in case Gilderson needs to back out of that. That's here a comes the push smoke. from Navi. This is such an intense fight across bridge here. Slurpy G, not good enough wingman shots as Navi wins that trade, wins that exchange, and should win this round. Unless Gilderson can do something insane. No, he's going to get knocked. One member can do goes knocked as well. It's all up to Slurpy G. Last alive in a 3v1. Slurpy G will get cleaned up, and it'll be a Navi win. So, firstly, it was a great job by Gilderson realizing that he was getting initiated on. But then what he decided to do was he played tight, right? He tucked behind his statue. He trusted his teammates to have his angles on the left and the right. In that situation where your teammates that far behind, you don't get too aggressive. Because if you do, they can't help you no more. So he stayed tight as long as he could. Designed for waited for the last second of, to drop that bubble for him. But ultimately, the Gibby never went down on the opposite side. He stayed alive the entirety of the time. That was rugby. Did a great job playing his life. And he got a few downs. The last two to win that round for him. There we go. Here's our next round here. Tied at one apiece in this one. I see Hout for Brack saying Loba could be really, really nice because of her ult efficiency. That's a great point. Basically, if you like to play for resources and economy, mm -hmm. you can get You can get so. care packages too as well. Yeah, that'd be kind of huge. For care Loba. packages and the meds here. And because like, I'm always keep saying it. Damage is currency. If you can get those meds, you can play that poke battle with your opponent. So that's where Loba can come up clutch to stop some of those players like we saw earlier, um, like you saw Overflow, where he was trying to get those meds off the start. You get that Q down, you can probably out, you can probably beat them. Maybe put in that in a great, sorry, put that ultimate in a great position to grab meds from multiple barrels, depending on the map. So that's something to think about when it comes to Loba. We'll see Sanya rotate out wide, get the crafting medals, which is also important to have that cash going into the next round. Definitely important. Yeah, and I actually want to point out here, this time, Navi's adjusting. Even though they saw Designful go wide, wide right, and they wanted to push that 3v2, they say, no, we're learning from our mistake last time around. I like that adjustment being made from Navi rather than pushing and then getting baited by Designful rotating through and basically head glitching that really good spot he was in a couple rounds ago. They don't push. They stick in the stalemate. But Designful does have good meds. The zone is moving in, but as we know... It's going to be Mirage's ship, which is still in the zone. We'll see where the next circle moves into play. As both squads go over tip and tat. It's the same area. Same area coming in. So ring two won't play too much of a factor going into this fight. Designed for having to pop that battery. Navi knows he's out the fight. You see Zion move up a little bit. They'll get a ping on him. Slurpee trying to just suppress him, push him back. And it's not much room for Zion to work with on that side of the map anyway. Yeah, I've seen slow down here. I saw a comment about why uh, why not Lifeline. She's OP in arenas. That's definitely true at low ELO arenas, especially with no teams communicating. You can sneak revives really easily, but at this level, no one's ever going to let a, a pro team's ever going to let a Lifeline sneak a revive. They're going to be well aware, and they're going to be they're going to be pushed instead. So it's just kind of ELO uh, a skill level thing at the pro level. I think everyone in chat basically mentioned the same thing. Shout out to from JR. downtown. Yeah. Imagine. Pushes them out of cover. That arm shield is cracked a bit. But when it comes down to Kron's meds, we see no sales on his side. He only got a few syringes. Slurpee has one more battery to work with. He wants full usage of that battery. See, he's still trying to trade shots before he pops it. Making sure he can get that full 100 health. Now, since both teams are coming dangerously low on meds, you see Design for having to hit the Phoenix kit just to stay alive, but I will say that he doesn't want his opponent to see him go to flesh because he knows that that will be the cue for Navi to start engaging on them. Instead, they're going to hold their ground. 
zone's moving in. Action's about to start, John. Some good shots coming in from Gilderson. Is going to force the rotation from Zanya. He has the high ground. Multiple smokes to the middle. The Gibby bubble goes down. A ricochet nade off the back wall to force some uncomfortable situations. Double bubbles. Multiple people weak on the side of Navi. And it looks like Johnsonville will be able to get this one done. Maybe. Unless Navi Slurpee goes huge. He will not. He does. It's Johnsonville who comes out on top. Chaos. Absolute chaos. Chaos. Right there in the middle of the map. Indeed. So well played right there in that 3v3. And that's what Navi wants to avoid. You, if you're Navi, you don't want to get in these close quarters 3v3 gunfights with the controller mm. boys in the U.S. on high ping advantage. Because Navi's obviously playing all the way from CIS or Eastern Europe, right? And a North American nice. New York server. So nice job right there by, by Johnsonville playing into their strength there in that late game. If you're Navi, you gotta, you gotta close out before the ring closes. Here we go. Johnsonville just gathering intel every single round on their opponent's positioning, their rotation. Pathfinder about to grapple up top over the palm. Got the high ground. No one's climbing up just yet, watching the side of that building. Some decent shots so far. He's gonna have to drop back, pop a battery. Got four to work with. Pope, same situation here in this round. Again, if you're Navi, you don't want to let this draw out to late game. You want to try and find a way to push in advance. Maybe take your poke and play off of that. Instead, it's Johnsonville doing the poking so far. The dizzy threat. About to pay some dividends. That's almost a crack there on Zanya. About 5 HP away from getting initiated on. Or at least forcing his teammate to have to use that bubble. Gilderson has a Great heady on top of the roof, giving a little bit more smokes. He has one more to use. But that's that that smoke usage is forcing these players out of cover from Johnsonville. Not too much though. Yep. They know that they got that intel coming in from that bottom floor. Um, in case they do get pushed from Navi. This ring so far has been allowing these players to, you know, really take these long range engagements throughout the most throughout the majority of the round does not force them into the open. Now a wheel though. Oh boy, that is flesh, flesh and a half. Do they push off that is the question though. Looks like they will. Yeah. Kron's gonna have to heal back up, pops the shield battery. Here comes the push. They have a four, 3v2 momentarily. Look at the team firing from Designful and Gilderson. Oh. That's gonna be two knocked. Last up is Kron. Barely just got Ooh. the meds off and they'll get taken out. Johnsonville will win game number two. They are the champions. They go up two to zero. This close from 3 0 Navi. Wow. Gilderson, Designful, and Slurpee getting it done today. Will these Johnsons be able to close out in a 3 0 fashion? Folks, don't go anywhere. We're about to find out right after this. And welcome back, everybody, to the UMG Champions Apex Legends Arena $10,000 Invitational. I'm Taylor Reflections. So we'll joined by Fallout and Blaze. What a series. What a series. For Johnsonville, man, they lead 2-0 to zero when we had a chance to take a peek at the groups. One thing that we noticed is, well, this was a rematch. Navi had beat earlier uh, this very team of Johnsonville 3-1. to one. This time around, though, seems to be a different story, Blaze. Yeah, it definitely does. You know, and I'm not surprised either because when you have a player like Designful on your squad who's been in so many high-pressure situations, if you give him time to beat you, he will. If you give him time to think, he will outstrat you. And so we're starting to see this squad evolve into their true form. And, you know, he's won one of these events before. So yes. he understands the meta. He has players around him who knows how to hit shots. Yeah, without question, you know, Thermal Station coming up next seems to be map number three. Actually, I think it has been map number three, if I'm not mistaken, in every single series that we've had Fallout. So with Thermal Station be, uh, being here once again, things are going to slow down a bit, you know, when it comes down to, obviously, Johnsonville, they're, they're comfortable with that fast pace. Uh, maybe Navi has a little bit, I, I shouldn't say edge, but what do you think their chances are mentality-wise heading into map number three? Yeah, I mean, down 2-0, you're not feeling great necessarily. Meanwhile, Thermal Station is Johnsonville for Johnsonville. Yeah, it I mean, is. That's, I was just about to say that. <laughs> for Death for Design for Lives, that's his home. You know, so you got to feel like he's, <laughs> yeah, I think he's getting confident going to the Thermal Station fight because they've won quite a few 50-50s there in their past. Oh, Different absolutely, team. yeah. 
Yeah. Design feels comfortable on Thermal Station. I think, yeah, that was his main drop, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this is the G2 drop, okay? This is this is where they they even train the legendary Nick Merckx, right here in Thermal Ah. Station, okay? Thermal Station will make you a man in Apex, and (laughs) it's going to come down to uh, Na'Vi having to deal with King Johnson himself in his home turf. Johnson making men out of people. You like to see that. You really do. Fallout plays. It's going to be a great match. I'm really, again, I said this last time uh, with uh, Mutarium. I'm just hoping we see a map number four. We haven't had a map four yet. And it's time to finally get to that point. Navi is an incredible team. They were getting praise uh, in chat just a little bit earlier. And I'm really hoping they do deliver. But they've got a long mountain to climb. Mm -hmm. We'll see if they're going to be able to do it. Fallout plays. Take it away. All right. Thank you, Taylor. Now, Fallout, he 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 mentioned something um, great about Mutarium, and Gaskin was talking about it towards the end of their last series, and it's a big reason why they couldn't close it out. They gave their opponent too much time to think. They gave them too much space to outstrap them and beat them. So Navi going into this map number three, this thermal station, when they put out the damage, they're going to have to contest this Johnsonville squad and and. Really be aggressive on them. Show them that, hey, we're here to play, and we're not going to give you that space. You're going to have to commit to every fight that you're in and think fast. Yeah, I like that mentality, and I think that's how Navi wants to should play, right? Similar to the last map, you can't wait till the game's a late game and it's a close quarters fight. You can't give them time to think, to wait, to chill. When you get an advantage, because you're on keyboard and mouse, you can probably out, outshoot them in a long-range fight. Take that advantage. Fly. All right, here we go, everyone. It's Navi going up against johnsonville map number three can navi stay alive in this series or are these johnsons going to the champ bracket we're about to find out it's a losers bracket matchup only one team can go to that champ bracket tomorrow and we're about to find out who it's on thermal station Whew. you you, hey. you gotta you gotta be ready to play this map okay that's right and i think I love- we, we're ready to cast it that's right. I love the stakes here. You set it up perfectly, Blaze. This yeah, is for there. Championship Sunday. The opportunity to qualify here. If you're Johnsonville, you could close out. If you're Navi, it's your tournament life on the line. Your chance for this $10,000 prize pool, or at least a chunk of it here, as we kick things off with Sonya from Navi. Looks like these two teams, once again, the same story continues. They're prioritizing different things and playing different sides of the map. Johnsonville prioritizing supply, crate, and loot. Navi prioritizing map mm-hmm. control, positioning, power it's- spots. It's something small, John, but the heady around the map on the outskirts that you saw on the dome, yeah, right there to the left of design for that heady is really powerful when it comes down to rotation. Rotation, putting yourself in position and not being seen. And, you know, we're starting to see Johnsonville play the outskirts of this map. They did something that Navi wasn't expecting, and that's not fighting for the for the cylinder building. They didn't want any parts of that when they wanted to have a slow round. And so we'll see how Navi wants to make the adjustment I think Johnsonville knew that they were going to get the crate. He says, hey, let's play for the crate, play for the meds, and we'll go into it with the late game with more resources. Yep. So we'll see who made the better decision here. As this map closes out, something tells me neither team will push the other until they are forced to. And guess what? The zone is going to go towards Navi. So advantage Navi based on where this ring is pulling. Take a look at the top left there. Shout out to our UMG production giving us that beautiful, beautiful look, which it really tells all. Let's go here. It does tell it all. All right, you got Karan here at the front door. You better let that door close a little bit. You don't want to get shot through that gap now, big fella. That's a gap and a half. <laughs> That's not a safe gap. He knows it too. He says, "Hey, I'm a <laughs> see." He says, "I'm point blanking anyone who comes to this door." That's a calculated That's the, door. They designed it and designful. Don't know. He about Bad. to lose his shield if he goes up there. This is a calculated door crack. A calculated one indeed. They'll reposition out. Great aggression with the bubble to get some positioning on the low ground. Now they su- can successfully climb up without their opponent knowing. Everyone on the side of Nafi, they're geared up for the close quarters battle inside the cylinder. Are they even protecting the high ground is the real question. Yeah, battle of low versus high. Eventually, decision will have to be made here. But for now, the stalemate continues, Blaze. Everyone got the auto sprint on. They're trying to just walk without being hurt. <laughs> trying to climb up, not move too fast. The shoddy is going to connect for just a bit. The bubble has to come out there for rugby. That's advantage. Johnsonville right now. 
Ooh, the mans are low on the side of Navi as well. That's a reposition, but it didn't come out in time. Is the Zionful hitting some powerful shots with that Mastiff, but a rebuttal from Zanya with the Peacekeeper isn't gonna be enough. It will get the Zionful down about two HP, but we know that he's popping those heels. Gilderson, what can you do? Oh, 110! <laughs> Oh, man, it was a great effort from yeah, Sanya. He, he hit. He hit with the PK, but ultimately the Prowler on top. Close range, controller, player, and the Prowler. Yeah, you ain't going to lose that fight. Nice shot right there from Gilderson to close that one out. Johnsonville starts strong here. The 1-0 lead, two more rounds. All that they need to shut down Navi, get their revenge, and punch their ticket to Championship Sunday. Can they do it? All right. Johnsonville feeling comfortable on this map. About to kick this one off it seems like we are gonna have a dash to left maybe for some for some craft the metals the bangalore is gonna double time over there we've got a little grapple double time action plan for the high ground they want to fight they matched up with him this round old boy was slurping moving up behind gilderson through the smoke they got zion in front that's a knock they're going for rugby next but he evens the odds it's a 1v2 up to Kron. Massive charge. 99. Looking for the knock. Moves into the bubble. The shields are blocking him. It's a crack. He has the health advantage in his 1v1 situation as Gilderson popping the battery. Kron looking for him. A shot in the back. The battery's popped though. It's an even battle. He can't get the cleanup. And it is going to be a victory by Gilderson. Wow. Johnsonville, 2-0. An insane round. I thought that was going to go in the hands of Kron or the last, last alive there for Navi, but instead, Guild's able to clutch that up in the end. Nice job overall. Thought maybe just maybe that clutch would happen. So here we go. It is match point right here, right now. Let's take a look at the replay, though. See how that went down. He goes down to 5 HP. A shot in the back. He's like, where is he? <gasps> no. Oh, he's around a corner. <gasps> oh, Disgusting. Where are you looking? you got to be kidding me. That slow-mo, too. Dirty. Mm -mm. He's dirty with it. Gilderson's going huge. Johnsonville playing for the win. Navi want to play heads up with him. Slurpee gets the early meds, backs up to the squad. They're going to rotate this map. Got some early aggression here towards the middle. Rugby's one HP. Kron's cracked as well. Oh and the God. door is knocked. Designful spraying it down. Mowing his opponent. The smoke has absolute chaos inside. Well, who's going to finish it? It's the Johnsons. They come out on top. Johnsons, up and up they go. They are just continuing to dominate right now in this competition, and they're going right up to the championship bracket tomorrow. They defeat Navi. Congratulations to them and the way that they did it. 3-0 in maps. 3-0 map number three. After getting 3-1 on those same maps earlier in this tournament, they make the adjustments they need. They clutch up when it matters the most. U.S. over EU for now, at least, and obviously on U.S. host. So there's an asterisk right there. You know, there, there is an. A you're already starting that battle. You know, it's it's there's there's two things you don't want to start. All right, you mm -hmm. got EU versus NA controller versus mouse and key. Yeah, right? I, I we haven't chose started that battle. I chose yet. violence, <laughs> and you, you do have you, to you choose wisely. <laughs> you do, you do, Blaze. That was a good series, though. It really was. I mean, Johnsonville came into it. I, mm -hmm. Everybody predicted them to win. They were on the boat of Designful. I don't blame them. I really don't. But again, after seeing that performance from Navi beating them 3-1, I expected more. I did. I, but the mentality, I guess, was different. You know, it really was. Or the rematch. Obviously, we saw Johnsonville win it pretty dominantly. Maybe they won it dominantly because they learned from that loss that they took earlier, which is something Fallout was mentioning uh, at the beginning mm -hmm. when we were kind of talking about this matchup at the start. Yeah, and, you know, I agree with that. And us as casters, you know, we like to do it for the EU players. We got to mention the connection for the fans because we understand. It's online. You just got to you gotta let them know that we know, okay? But yeah. Navi did beat them the first time, and they lost the second. And so what you said was right, Taylor. It was uh, Johnsonville outsmarting them, making the proper adjustments to come out victorious. And, you know, they did it dominantly. They truly did. Uh, they didn't look back. They got better every single map. 4-2 on Overflow. 3-1 on Party Crashers into the 3 on Thermal Station. This is the first time we, well, at least from last event, we did see Navi as an organization in playoffs. But this time around, they are going to fall short. This was an elimination match, guys. So that means Navi, their tournament run has come to an end. And Johnsonville will secure their spot 
in uh, playoffs tomorrow. And you know what? They are looking like a solid team. I know Verhulst was in chat saying, you know, Navi is, is looking really strong. They must be respected. Uh, and then I think they lost map one, and he was like, well, Navi might be cursed. You know, hey, there are some inconsistencies there. But, Fala, i got to ask you, for this victory over Navi with even Verhulst giving them praise Johnsonville heading into tomorrow. How strong do they look to you? Yeah, I mean, it's it's it's, it's honestly Verhol's fault. He literally cursed Navi. <laughs> you know, we talk about the caster curse often. We're gonna we have to talk about the Rising Star Award curse and Verhol's coming in strong with that one. But yeah, no, I, Johnsonville looking good. They made the adjustments they needed to make. This is a team that's a favorite. It has to be a favorite. Obviously, it's a pickup team. But three players that are so talented, the controller prowess on this team, uh, you, you have to look at this team as a top three, top four favorite coming in this yeah. competition. And of course, that's why they were one of our teams to watch the show today and blaze real quick pickup team means cinderella story in a way right And we love doing our cinderella stories Over you think that's Arena? one of them when it comes down to this johnsonville team i think it is one of them all right um you know the cinderella teams they don't got much to lose only everything to gain so so far it looks like johnsonville got at least one glass slipper on and we'll see if they can get the <laughs> next one put on tomorrow and have themselves um a ball in the finals